Hi Gemini, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's see what is happening with you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see what messages come through for you, Gemini. Reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases. Oh, rejoice in celebration. So, something to celebrate. Choose wisely. Multiple options coming your way, choose wisely. So, reverse the rules if needed, switch the cases, but do not force the reading on your situation, right? Let's see what's happening with you. A lot of cards are flipping and sticking together. Two cards again, yeah. Disruption and balance. This is tower and justice together. I see you felt stuck into something for a very long time and you feel that I'm done now. I'm done. I've been trying to correct this. I've been trying to put in effort. I've, I've been trying to stay stuck in this situation for a very long time. I'm not taking it anymore. And that's going to be a disruption in your energies. Balance is the justice energy. You feel that this is the time to strike balance in a situation. Not taking BS anymore, right? Even if that requires a big disruption, even if that requires destruction before construction, you're ready for it. Yeah, trapped in fear. I see you overthinking about something. For some of you, I see for a very long time you were just in that confusion. Um, again, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. You were just stuck in multiple options, things just being casual, nothing going on very seriously or nothing moving seriously in your life. I see you feel that some things are out of balance and you've been taking it for too long. I see a reaction coming out to strike the balance, right? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Your energy, any specific person in your surroundings, important, right? Can be your love interest, can be somebody on your mind. Gemini. Couple of advice is an outcome. What's coming towards you? Ten of Swords, see? Page of Wands, Ten of Swords. You're tired of something, Gemini. You're tired of something. You tried showing interest in rekindling or reviving something, but you're tired. You're done doing something. Two of Wands, leveling up, making a decision, feeling the baggage, and you're very, very emotional. It can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your surroundings. I see. This can be you or somebody. I see this is emotional roller coaster, honestly. For some of you, I see for quite some time now, you guys are experiencing an emotional roller coaster, right? I see emotions are just running very, very high. Can be surrounding a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. For some of you, I see a love confession coming in, but you're so silent about this whole scenario because this is something unhealthy on your mind, okay? I'm feeling the back edge, Gemini, feeling the back edge. For some of you, I see you leveling up to change your situation. Whatever responsibility, I don't really see these are positive responsibilities. These are more like baggage. And I think you're done carrying them. You're done carrying them. And this is the time you, you cause that disruption. Something is coming from within to just see Ace of Swords. It's time to break the tower for some of you i'm getting this message that you guys are feeling so pissed off now that you intentionally want to create the tower moment and you're leveling up to do that a specific person in your surroundings or somebody uh, on your mind maybe love interest possibly hmm, six of cups in judgment okay this person probably is a past person and wants reconciliation with you they probably, yeah, I see some emperor kind of image, someone very, very controlling. But this person wants to have a second chance here. Tattoo, Knight of Wands. You still doubt their intentions and I see probably it is needed also. Hanged man, a lot of major arcanas. For some of you, I see you doubt the intentions of this person and... Um, you are looking for transformation. Maybe this person is coming in to tell you that I want transformation here, right? At heart, they're still wishy-washy. If you want to know if this person is still wishy-washy or not, they are. And um, they're coming with the mindset that, okay, I'll come in. I'll ask for a second chance. If things go right, good. We're going to work it out. Some transformation is possible. If not... You know, um, they're just not putting all the eggs in one basket. That's what I heard. 
and uh, hanged man shows me that the situation is still getting delayed situation is still getting delayed I need to clarify a few cards Gemini but someone is definitely coming back right second chances on someone's mind what are you leveling up and making a decision here about ten of pentacles I think you are very strongly deciding that you want stability for some of you, I see again the disruption energy shows me that for a very long time you were trapped, trapped in fear here, right? You were feeling that you have been chained. There was an energy of control. Or maybe you just felt that things are not in my control. I'm just stuck. You're causing a tower moment here. And the reason behind that tower moment, the decision you're about to make, is your long-term stability. You want long-term stability here. See, Five of Cups. For some of you, I see there are regrets. Knight of Pentacles, death, Six of Cups, okay? This past person coming back, I see this person definitely misses you. I, I cannot deny that. Gemini, I do see this person misses you and that's why they're coming back to have a second chance with you. But if you ask about their true intentions or what they're feeling from the heart, they're like, okay, they're on the horse, they're, they're moving forward. But they're totally ready for any outcome, you know? They're, only, they're totally ready for any outcome. They're taking a chance, it's like that. Moon, yeah, I think this person is understanding that. I see illusions, I see. Nine of Wands. They're very guarded, they're very guarded. They're not showing you the true side. They're very guarded in reality. They might come back telling you that I miss you and I want a second chance. But at heart, <coughs> as if, you know, um, giving a rose to somebody and in the second hand, the dagger is ready that in case something comes out, in, if, in case this person pulls a gun on me, I'm ready with a dagger. I see this person is very defensive, very defensive energy on their part. It's like, okay, I, I'm ready to try once again. But uh, if Gemini does something, I'm going to be retaliating, right? They're not understanding your internal state of mind, Gemini. They're not understanding your internal state of mind. They're very guarded. I think you are not really giving a BS. Your main thought here is that you want stability. Four of Wands. Let's see what is this Knight of Wands energy for this person. The Hanged Man, the Three of Swords, Page of Cups, okay. This person definitely regrets some things in past. But you know what? They feel they're equally hurt. They're ready to apologize. Again, Gemini, I see this person is coming in with two different sides. As if, you know, they have two faces and they, they'll be waiting for your reaction so that they'll decide which face has to come out. So if you're going to be like very polite, accepting, telling them that I want stability in the situation, they're going to give you love and they're going to ask for a second chance and possible apology also. And if you're going to be, you know, uh, quite stubborn or reactive or if you're going to be coming, you know, um, strong, they're, re they're ready with the dagger also. So I see the ball is in your court, how you're going to react what decision you make because they are coming prepared for everything right it's like they want a second chance with you but if it doesn't happen they're, they're prepared for the other thing also okay that's very interesting that's a very practical approach honestly usually you guys are the more practical people Gemini you guys are very practical and you know how to see the world but this person is like okay I won't say clever, but it's just that they're prepared for the worst, right? Very interesting energy. Why are you King of Cups? Why are you King of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Oh my God. Six of... You love this person. You love this person. You're not telling them that. Problem probably was that they have been very wishy-washy. They sometimes give you a chance. I see it's very hard to see through this person. They want transformation. You want transformation. You both want transformation here. Gemini and uh, I see you somehow don't trust this person and they are it's like you know this person has multiple faces from the very beginning I'm getting this message 
you just can't judge what's what's happening inside them they're so difficult and probably for a very long time you stay trapped in that emotion that i need to balance this person i need to you know take it forward but now you're like okay give me your real face give me your real fucking face you know for one moment you are a different person another moment you're a different person if i do go if, if I go right, you will be going right. If I go left, you'll be going left. But at heart, you're just manipulating things. Now, again, I'm not getting a bad vibe from this person. Manipulative or bad or trickery. Neither I'm getting a very good vibe. <laughs> There's somewhere in between. This person is fucking intelligent. And they have been hurt in past, you know. I think they have been hurt in past. You love them. What is this death? What is this death? King of Wands. Ooh, they're attracted. Five of Swords. Eve, Five of Swords. I told you, I'm, I'm getting that vibe. This person is literally prepared for anything. So if you're going to give me flower, I'm going to give a flower back to you. If you're going to give me a sword, I'm ready with a dagger. True. Three of Cups, they want reconciliation. But uh, they're still manipulative. If you think that this person is not going to play games, I don't think so. I don't think so, Gemini. They're very attracted to you. They want reconciliation. They want transformation. I'm not denying that. And I do see if you will let them put in effort or if you will initiate, this person is definitely going to put in effort. But Five of Swords shows me that that's even, that's, even that is going to be calculated, right? So, wow. Again, the burden falls on you. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Burden falls in you, Gemini. What is this? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Now, your purpose, I see your main target, your purpose here, Two of Pentacles, okay, is to maintain stability and see how, how hard you're trying to maintain stability. Two of Pentacles, struggling. How hard you're trying to maintain stability here. You, you're about to hear from this person, uh, Gemini. You're about to hear from this person very soon. And um, it's like, you know, do or die kind of situation for you. Either you... Okay, you're very confused. You're very confused about this whole scenario. Let's let's have a card for outcome. Let's see where is the situation heading and um, possible advice. Where is the situation heading and possible advice for Gemini? Page of Swords. Can you see that? Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt. I see this as you. An exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all the documents very carefully. Again, I see uh, Five of Pentacles is here again. Okay. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fear surrounding money, reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for becoming self employed. Okay, Gemini, I see you want stability. If this is a financial matter, this person is manipulative, right? And uh, they don't put all their eggs in one basket. That's what I'm picking up. You know, it's like this person is calculative. And they know, again, very logical personality. I see you too have that personality, but somehow I'm picking up that you have more compassion and more will to work it out. But this time you're causing a disruption in the system to bring changes, and I see changes are needed here. And this person, uh, I, I feel they want reconciliation, they want to talk to you, but there's something which is tricking. I don't know, it's very tricky here. Okay, let's have more cast. I should read this again. Logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and exciting intellectual challenge. Yeah, I think this, this situation is presenting a very intellectual challenge to you. How are you going to face it? You want to work with them, they want to work with you, but you can't completely trust them and they can't completely trust you. What the fuck is happening here? Is it a fucking war zone? Brilliant insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all the documents carefully. I'm getting this message that you want to change in the situation. Let's have some advices. Let's have some advices first. Gemini, have faith in your dreams. Gemini, I see eventually things are going to be working in your favor and maybe difficult. It's going to be somewhat difficult, but I see you might be able to balance. You might be able to balance, yes. 
but what I'm getting here is that um, the effort will fall on your head. So I do see the tricks are still there. A fury climax approaches, nothing is yet set in stone. So again, I see very unknown, unpredictable energy. For a lot of you, I see you guys need to step out of your comfort zone and have faith in your dreams. Because I see this person is more watching than doing. You know, it's like they're ready for worst case scenarios and you're like, whatever Gemini is going to do, I'm going to just retaliate. So if you're going to throw love at them in the beginning, they'll be shocked. But they'll be like, okay, if Gemini is loving me, I can love them back. I know it doesn't make sense, but this is very practical love. I've never experienced something like that before. Practical love. Mm, okay. What is this? What do you need to hear? Round and round. You have a pattern with this person that keeps on repeating. Round, round, round. You have a pattern with this person. Peace. And for a lot of you, I'm getting this message that you're done. You're done. Disruption shows me that you want balance here. You are done with this round and round and round pattern with this person. You know, it's like you're not satisfied and you want to bring a change. You want to break this pattern. You want peace. So how is it going to happen? Communication. I see uh, you both are not ready to show the vulnerable sides to each other. They have been heartbroken though. I'm getting a very confused vibe from this person. On one hand, they're manipulative. On the other hand, they're heartbroken. So I think their behavior here is because they've been hurt in past. They've, they've been hurt in past. They want to apologize also. But again, they're so guarded. They're so fucking guarded. What your Gemini needs to hear here? Okay, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. You need to let go of something, Gemini. New love. Hmm, interesting. I see past person. I see new love coming in. What is happening? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energies to others. So one solution to this problem can be that you be soft. You know, I'm not saying to accept this person back, but be soft and listen to what they say. Because I see they're so guarded. They feel that you're going to trick them or they're going to hurt them. And before you do that, they're ready for, you know, a reaction or simply Sometimes it's like, instead of acting defensive, act offensive. You know, I see some problem with this person. So just extend your lighthearted energy to them, talk to them and... Passion, hmm. finances and career. I've, been, I've no idea where it started and where it ended. Okay. <laughs> I just want to have one more card before I end. I don't know why. I just feel it's not over. I just, I'm continuously getting this message that it's not over. It's not over. Get more information. Communicate clearly. Yes, I, I was looking for something like that. Within the next few weeks, Gemini uh, talking. Talking is the key because I see so fucked up energies for both of you. You are somewhere else and they're somewhere else. You're thinking somewhere, something else. They're thinking somewhere, something else. Guarded and, you know, coming in the battlefield, ready with everything. But communication can bring answers. So I see you need to extend a little lighthearted energy to this person if you really want to work with them. Otherwise, the cycle is going to repeat. I see the cycle is not coming to an end. Nothing is ending. It's happening over and over and over and over again. So talk it out and finish it off, right? after that decide what you want but at least let yourself out and let this person also be what they truly are right so this is what i have for you guys thank you so much for watching bye bye